Hey, you guys. Hello, hello, everyone. How are you doing today? So nice to see everybody. I um, hope you're having some fun and um, enjoying your day, or trying to at least. I find my favorite way to enjoy my day is to paint something, or, hi Michelle, or um, go to Rural King, which is what I did today. So um, if you've not been to Rural King, I'm gonna tell you all about it today. So, um, hello, Vintage Vibes. Hey girl, good to see you. Um, I have a really fun little project for you today. I'm gonna to take my glasses off because it's shining just a little bit. Um, so first of all, if you're brand new here on YouTube, my name's Kelly Weiler. I'm the owner of Girl Upcycled Studio, located in Ohio, a little town called Zanesville, an hour east of Columbus. So um, we are doing everything online right now. I can send you any of the paints that I'm using. I'm also going to do a little project using the IOD transfers. So it's kind of fun. Um, so let's talk about what I'm gonna do real quick. Um, I went to Rural King, if you've never been to Rural King, it's like, I think as good as Walt Disney, maybe even better, because there's baby chickens involved. <laughs> so, but look at this little, um, little pot, uh, what would you call this? Little pot trio or pail, galvanized pail. Michelle says we do have that in Tulsa. I love Rural King because you can shop for clothing there. All these cute little t-shirts with cute little sayings. Um, you can shop for, um, oh goodness, hold on, I didn't go live on my, <laughs> on my Facebook, oopsie. Um, but you can go um, shop for your clothing there. You can shop for, they have little home decor items there. They also have some plants there. They have baby chickens and baby roosters. So I always go visit all the baby roosters and the chickens and everything while I'm there because it just like, I leave feeling so much better every time I shop there, I swear to God. And then let's just talk about the licorice. They have the best licorice in the world, okay? Because they're farmers and they know they're licorice. Okay, but this is what I picked up. How cute is this? Hello everybody there on Facebook. I'm so sorry I'm late getting you on. Um, but this is how it comes. Look how shiny. It's all galvanized. See how shiny it is? So we are going to create this. It's almost like a milk wash, I would say, because you create a wash. It's like a consistency of milk. And I'm gonna show you how to do this today. And then after we get that done, I have these cute little, they're called classic pots. They are decor transfers. And I don't think I have to go get my scissors, but anyway, we're gonna put some of these on here as well. Totally transform the complete look of it. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, okay, yep, I think we're okay over there. Let's go ahead and get started. Put these out of the way. I'm gonna roll my sleeves up. Um, little quick tip to um, whenever I get lunch, you know, you get those little takeout to go, little containers. I save the containers. This is a lid from one of my containers. These make really, really good paint pans and you're recycling and I love it when I can recycle and you know, I can, get really good use out of it rather than just throwing it right into the trash. So I kind of like that. So we're gonna start with a color called Farm Fresh. And this is paint from the DIY Paint Company. And let me show you what the label looks like. This is a DIY Paint Company. It's Debbie's Design Diary Paint. It is an all natural clay-based paint. Um, just really, really yummy stuff to work with. I'm gonna use the color Farm Fresh, and I went ahead and I put my paint in these little bottles here. Um, it just makes it easy to squirt out. And I'm just gonna put it out on the pan here. And I'm gonna use a full strength. Let me get this out of the way. So I get that one done. And let me move the camera just a little bit lower so y'all can see me. A little bit better there we go and I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it right upside down 
and I'm so sorry I cannot see your questions over here. If you have any questions, y'all just let me know. And I, if I don't answer them during the live, I will make sure that I get in here and watch a replay and answer. You can always tag my name too, and that helps me kind of identify and find it really quickly. Okay, so. I just put this first coat on it. And I'm not really being careful about my brush strokes. If you notice, I'm not being careful at all. I'm just kind of slapping it on there, you guys, just real quick. I don't even care if I have a little, little tiny bit of the um, silver showing through because we're going to do that milk wash over top of it. And it's going to, um, it'll cover just fine. And if there is a little, little tiny speck of the silver showing through, that could be kind of fun too, just on its own, just doing it there. Hello, you guys coming in. Um, okay, so there's that. And I'm going to have to hit it with a dryer really quickly. I meant to leave one. I was trying to stage it. And then I went ahead and put the wash over the other one, forgetting that I was going to, stage it all to be like magic television, you know, but here we are. Hi, sunshine, says Catherine, how are you? This, the good thing about the DIY paint though, I will say, is it dries super, super quick. So when I do have to um, take a moment and use the dryer, it's not a big deal. Hi, Jude, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you are brand new here on my channel, thank you so much for being here, first of all. And if you enjoy DIY projects and art projects, I teach um, all kinds of things like that on my channel and love it when you all hang out. What's this wash you're putting on? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it using um, White Swan. So I'm gonna make white swan, mix just like a bunch of water in with it. And it's gonna be the consistency of like a vitamin D milk. So I kind of call it like a milk wash. Um, if it was a little more texturized, it would look like a salt wash. If I had more texture on it, but it's gonna be, yeah. It is so cool and this can, you know, think about your home decor in your house because you can do this in many variations of colors. Um, so what I'm doing today is going to be pretty reminiscent of a farmhouse kind of a style. I'm in Ohio. We have a lot of farmers here, farmland, and the that's very, very popular um, where we live. Um, but if you wanted it to be... Um, Oh, I just think it would be elegant to paint prairie gray, which is a really deep earthy clay, kind of earthy color, and make a wash using petticoat pink, which is a real, real soft, soft pink. I just think that would be so feminine and uh, just beautiful if you wanted something, uh, you know, for a different look, and then you could wax over top of it, but that would be beautiful. But think about your decor if you have like a southwestern flair, you could do this in turquoise and maybe like a real light soft um, wash of like maybe coral over top of it or, or turn it into like a peach color. Hi, Lisa. Okay, we're pretty much done already. See how that dried so fast? Okay, so now we're going to do the fun part. We're going to make this little quick little wash. Um, this wash is great for... Um, I find people that sometimes, sometimes they want, like if I have a husband that wants a wood and the, I have a woman in here that likes painted fresh white, I can get them to do like a fresh, um, whitewash using this kind of method and you can still see the wood grain through it. So you, you really, um, you want to dilute it pretty much down. I'm, I'm just going to put like, let's say a teaspoon. I'm going to put like a good teaspoon 
of paint in there. And this is White Swan that I'm using. Let me find my water. And you're gonna, you can just play around with it, you guys. I'm not one that does exactly um, exact measurements. Um, I like to kind of eyeball everything. And I'm looking for the consistency of milk. Okay, so if you see, it's really runny. See how runny it is? And it's the color of like a whole milk, okay? Not skim milk, but whole milk. You want it to be kind of covered. Okay, can you see okay? And then you're, I'm gonna stand up to do this. And then you're just going to kind of pat this around. And you, be, you can be kind of messy with it. You can do full coverage if you want, or you can do it really, really messy like I just did. I, and you can see how much I still have left. So even that little teeny tiny bit that I mixed up was even a little bit too much. So you can go very, very sparingly with this, which is kind of cool. Okay, so that was the wash. It looks like I missed a little bit, but I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip it over so that now all of those runs are gonna go the other way. Okay, so now they're dripping down rather than up. And I'm gonna hit it with the dryer. You can kind of move it around with the dryer if you want to. Okay, so I think you guys get the idea, right? So you can see it's already starting to dry and it has that kind of that patina like it's been out in the weather a little bit and it's starting to get that patina so you can see even though there's little teeny tiny peaks of silver coming through i mean it looks good it just kind of adds to it thank you karen so um but anyway this is what it looks like when it dries this is exactly what i did on this and I love that finish so this one I did a full coverage you can see it's a little more even so you can you have the you have some variations if you like it really really you know even you can do a full coverage of that wash on it and it'll look like this or you can do the messy application Yes, we will be sealing this, Lisa. I have some waxes that I'm gonna put over top of this. But first of all, I'm gonna do a transfer and we're gonna see how, how the transfers do on these. But I just thought that was a quick little upcycle. Um, again, I got this set. It was only, it wasn't even $10. It was like nine something. It was, all, it was under $10 at Rural King. You could probably find these at any kind of tractor store or farm store, um, but so many uses. This would be really, really cute to put utensils in. This would be really cute for um, your brushes and combs and things like that um, in your bathroom. So, I mean, I could, the list goes on. Okay, I got to grab my scissors. I always forget something, don't I, guys? Got my handy dandy scissors and we're gonna do a quick application using the IOD transfers and this is the classic pots and I do sell all of these items right on my website so you can find everything there and I love these little containers that they come in I'm sure there's something really cool we could do with these right so this is how it comes and there's a little tool if you've not used the transfers yet i just want to make sure everybody knows 
how this comes. Um, when I ship out, unless you sh unless you buy multiple items, I even will just ship it just like this because it's a real hard um, cardboard. Um, if you buy multiples, then I'll put it together in a package. So now I need to figure out which ones I want to do. Aren't they pretty? Um, I'm kind of leaning towards, since it's kind of farmhousey, I'm kind of leaning towards um, the ones with the little animals on it. So I have one that has a duck, one with a rooster, and there's one with a fox. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and use those. And we'll go from there. Now, keep the backing on this until you use it, guys, okay? You wanna make sure you keep it, keep everything as is until you're ready to use it. It has a little, little tiny bit of tackiness to it. So it can, you know, if you separate that waxy layer from the back, it, it could almost stick to something accidentally. So. I just would recommend keeping it right where it is. And I'm just gonna cut out everything that I want. These are really cute for upcycling um, jars. And I mean, you could really even, you could really upcycle any kind of jars from your kitchen. Like after, you know, like the great big um, spaghetti sauce jars and you can you can really do some cute things with that and turn them into cute vases and things like that so um really you wouldn't even need to go to the store per se if you order these because they're so easy and you could just basically find some items around your house or you can go shopping at rural king like i did today Going there. I gotta quit going there because I keep buying the great big things of licorice, which I'm not supposed to be eating all that sugar. In the quarantine, anybody else? I don't know how you feel about it, but the quarantine is not my friend with like dealing with the sugar right now. Apparently, sugar is my friend during quarantine. Ah, <laughs> uh, somebody help! All right. Oh well. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this right back in here for safekeeping. Okay, it'll protect it. Okay, so we have, um, this is a little duck or goose. We have this one. And you want to kind of watch your little cans or your jars, whatever you're using, and make sure there's not like a front or a back. So there's a seam on this one, so I wanna make sure that I see where my seam is. And I want to just kind of line this up. Now, the cool thing about this is there's a grid on it, which makes it really nice for measuring purposes. And I really am just kind of eyeballing everything. You could tape it right in place, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna live on the edge. And I'm just going to eyeball it and start rubbing. And I'm probably gonna to have to rub it pretty well because it's fresh paint, okay? They have many, many, many different sizes and styles of the transfers. Um, and I do have other videos on my YouTube channel showing like complete start to finish of some of the larger projects that I've done and they are beautiful. Um, they have some that have a lot of detail in the design and a lot of detail in the color and there's so much you can do with them. So you basically, if you're using the IOD transfers on your furniture, you're basically turning your furniture into like a mixed media piece of artwork. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to just start you notice I have my, my hand here and I'm flipping it up as I'm rubbing because what I'm doing is I'm just kind of lightly 
peeking at it as I'm lifting it and if I if it's coming up I just lay it right back down but it does fairly easily I'm sorry I think I'm shaking you aren't I didn't even think about having my camera up on the table it's going for a bumpy ride I will get this uh, YouTube thing soon guys I promise so, but I do appreciate y'all being patient with me <laughs> while I figure it all out usually I am live over on Facebook and the Facebook lives kind of disappear after a while they're not I gotta be a little more careful with the YouTube look how good guys look at that pretty huh I'm excited Oh, and you guys, we have a big celebration going on um, Friday. We're going to do a Facebook Live celebrating our five-year anniversary. We have a ton of giveaways we're going to be doing and some just really cute things that we're going to be selling. If this all turns out, I might put this in the, in the flash sale too. But yeah, we have a, a bunch of things that we're going to be offering. My sister, who owns Earth and Summer's Kiln, she has some beautiful new ceramic pieces that she's going to be featuring Friday night as well. So I hope that y'all can join us there and celebrate. And it's just a way for us to say thank you to um, by doing the, um, the special little gifts that we're going to be sending out to you. So we're, we're excited about that. So we were kind of like, how are we going to pull this off, <laughs> right? But we're going to do it. We're just going to do it all virtually, even though we're closed. Taking everything online, even our party. We're going to have margaritas too. So if you're going to be with us, if you're going to join us Friday at 5 o'clock, bring a margarita, okay? My sister's in charge of that. <laughs> It's really good fresh margaritas so we usually do a taco bar and the whole like Cinco de Mayo kind of themed so I'm like I don't think they want to hear us chomping on tacos this right are you able to see yes it's turning out good Oh, so cute. How easy. Easy, easy peasy, right? That was pretty quick. So we're going to add some waxes on top of this too. Let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Um, I am so sorry. I don't know why it is not scrolling over here on Facebook land. <laughs> Classic thoughts, yes. I'm sorry I missed the question that came above there, so I will make sure I find that. Let me get everything out of the way. Let's do um, a little bit of clear wax first. Normally I do the entire project before I continue. Brush. This is my old wax brush. And let's just. Now, with the DIY paint, you're going to see it's changing colors a little bit. Every time the clay based paint gets wet, it'll kind of just deepen a little bit until it dries and then it just lightens right back up. It's really cool. Um, but it is going to bring out the if you can see the str the brush strokes it's going to bring all those brush strokes out it's going to bring out all the little drips and the runs and all the nice little detailing that we put in it and it's just super easy and fast and all that good stuff i'm just going to do a real quick coat and then i'm going to go over it with a little bit of dark box but you could do any kind of um, colors of paint on this with any of the colored waxes. I mean, you can really change it up and have a lot of fun. 
Um, if you're into the beachy kind of look, you could use like the white wax over top of it and that would probably give it more of a beachy look. Um, so lots of options there, right? Let's see, I need one more brush. grab this one is that'll work my old brushes okay and again this is wax from the DIY paint company that is Debbie Beard's company Debbie's design diary I love the waxes love 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 I love I love it all right I'm just gonna show you what that looks like pretty dark so we went ahead and we put that clear coat on because that's going to put a nice little barrier and we're going to just put I want most of it up in the creases and the crevices of the lip and around the bottom okay that's where I want the majority of it you could do full coverage if you want Just kind of up to you. And grab a lint-free rag and then you're just going to kind of move it around a little bit. Now on the galvanized tin you want to kind of be a little bit careful with it as I drop it. You want to be a little bit careful with it um, when you're wiping it because you don't want to wipe too hard and wipe any of that paint off okay because it is a harder surface and it doesn't absorb like something like wood would absorb a little bit more. So you do want to be careful about that. Cute, huh? It's already starting to dry a little bit. You can kind of see how it's drying. Just make sure that's pressed down. That was easy peasy, huh? So let's go ahead and Have any of you used the, the IOD transfers yet? If so, which ones have you used? Inquiring minds want to know. So again, so this one, I just wanna point out with this one, I went ahead and painted a little bit down into the lip. So that's an option that you have too. So you can either leave it, it's up to you, you can leave it like that or you can paint down in the like especially if you're going to do, yeah, they are, Michelle. Especially if you're going to do um, little plants in it. Like I would like to have it painted all the way down the lip. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. And if I sell these, I'm not sure what the client will be doing. So I may just leave it plain. Um, I'll just go in there with a wet rag and I can wipe that up. But I did want to show you that option. Okay, so I'm going to find my seam. seam and so I want to make sure that I flip it over there's my seam and then I'm going to just kind of eyeball the middle of this best that I can you could actually measure this you guys should be the lines do really help I must confess okay I think that's good let's start rubbing I am sorry I think I'm missing some of your questions coming through take you for a little bumpy ride Jerry Jerry Ann must be on. So again, if you have not um, subscribed or 
like the video if you like the video that's a great way um, whether it's my channel or anybody else's that you enjoy that is a great way to help these little businesses most of us on here are small businesses and that are doing the videos and we're just on here to help you and to show you um, products and teach you how they work answer questions so just by simply liking a video and subscribing to channels that's a great way to um, support these little businesses right now um, especially during the quarantine and we can't really be open this is just a really great way for you to show your support and if you're home right now and you're not able to work if you're able to tune in and comment and take part in it, that's a great way to support too. So we really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Again, we'll have our anniversary party on Friday. We'll have lots of cool things to sell. The earrings I have on are gonna be in, this, in the, the flash sale that we're having. Aren't they pretty? They're very lightweight. Um, I sell them in my studio and they will be up on my website really, really um, soon. Somebody said, how did you highlight my name? I don't know, girl. So that might, might be Michelle doing it. So anyway, okay, it's already starting to work, you guys, look, boom. I to remember to get the camera off of my table the next time. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> you feel like you're on a roller coaster, bumpy, uh, driving around in a car, a bumpy country road. Just pretend, pretend like you're on a country road out here in Ohio, watching a video on a country road. There you go. <laughs> We are going to support one of our local restaurants tonight. Oh, it's not bumpy. Thank you, Karen. I was afraid it was. But we're going to support one of our local restaurants tonight. We've been trying to do that um, during this whole thing. So I hope you all remember your little restaurants and people like that. Um, this uh, restaurant in particular is not far from our house. It's called Old Paul's Inn, and they actually was flooded out right after the quarantine started. They completely were flooded, and so they really were hit really hard. So I think we're going to um, order wings from their place tonight. Yes, you have to follow Vintage Vibes, Good Finds. That's Karen Crone. Um, she and her husband are opening up a brand new place as soon as this quarantine is over. They, I've been watching them. They're getting their place ready, and I'm so happy for them. Um, they're just super creative and sweet couple, and I'm so happy for them. So cute, right? That's the little chicken. It's cute. Love that one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the wax. And I don't know if y'all want to watch me do the last one. You love that one? Do you guys want to stay and watch the last one? I've got another one I'm going to do too. I think it's going to be super cute. Yeah, it is. So before you start waxing, this is down really good though. I, I was really concerned because with it being, I've heard so much, um, so many people, yes, these are transfers from the IOD company and I sell these right on my website. And I do have this in stock, of course. Everything you see here, I have in stock. Um, and you can get, uh, I'll be adding all of that in the description, okay? Um, so anyway, Let's get the clear wax on here. Let's do a nice quick coat. This is just a fun little hour project. I don't even think I've been an hour. What time is it? Yeah, I haven't even been an hour and I've got three of these done already. 
Well, of course I did a little bit ahead of time, but so easy. But you guys might have stuff. Think about what you have around the house. You could do these with terracotta pots too. Um, do you have stuff around the house that, that kind of are like out of style? This is a great way just to um, completely change the look of it very, very quick and easily. It's so fun. Am I going to paint the tray? I don't know, what do you guys think? I thought about leaving the inside of it silver. I'm gonna get your opinion on that when I get done. If it needs to be, I will. So I, I was undecided with that. What do you think I should do? Do you guys, do y'all think I should paint the, the little tray, the inside of it, or leave the pop of silver? I'm just going to do a quick swipe, quick swipe. Very, very uneven. I'm not doing complete coverage or anything. Anybody can do this. I promise you. If you have trouble, you just tag me. But I swear, it's so easy. So what else would you put this on? If you had these little transfers, what would you put these on at your house? I'm always thinking of ways to just upcycle items that that I already have too. These would be really cute, like on a lamp base. Um, you could get, oh, like tiles. They sell tons and tons of tiles at the ReStore. Those would be really cute on tiles and you could do a whole entire wall with art, just like different size tiles. Canisters that are outdated, absolutely. Hello. Mia from Spring, Texas. How's the weather in Texas? Do y'all want to hang out and watch this last one or are y'all over it? <laughs> so let me show you the difference between um, not wax and once it, now this needs to dry. Everybody says, yes, keep going. Yeah, the lamp base would be awesome. Um, this will lighten just a little bit, but what will happen, you want to let your waxes sit until the next day, and then the next day you'll come in, and you'll just lightly buff it until it has a nice little, just a soft sheen. It'll have the softest sheen to it. Um, very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to see where my seam is at. You want to do the same thing if you're using mason jars or... Um, whatever you're doing. You always want to make sure that you're looking for the back seam. And I really, really like this one. This is this little sneaky little fox. Really like it. And I think it's because we have quite a bit of fox on our land. And um, they're kind of fun to... It scared me at first when I first when I very first heard them, it scared me because I didn't know what it was. Um, and it sounded really, really eerie. I do too, Lisa. So have y'all heard fox in the wild before? They sound like s screaming women, it's, which sounds, but once you learn what, they, what it is, it's fascinating when you listen to them out in the wild. Um, and that's how they talk to each other at night and when they're getting their food and that's how they communicate and it you know i felt better after i learned what it was because i was like i was about ready to be like i was like babe where where did you move me and why do you have me out here <laughs> you have fox in the neighborhood yeah, they are. They're so cute when they have their little babies. And and the little babies, they're so cute too because they're like trying to mimic their their mom and dad, the sound of their mom and dad's making, which is like screaming sound. And then they got the little ones out there howling. It's so cute. So, but yeah, we have a, quite a bit of wildlife out where we live. Um, now that I'm out there and I know what the sounds are, it's not quite as scary. Um, the coyotes that we have are a little eerie sometimes, but um, they can, you know, as long as they stay away from me, I'm not afraid of them. 
Oh, they take the dog toys out of your yard. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't think of that. Well, I guess why wouldn't they, huh? So I'm just making sure this is pressed down on here. It's already starting to come up. This paint is very, very fresh. So you might have a little trouble on a newly fresh, fresh painted, like I literally just painted this with all of you. Yes, the coyotes do have the weirdest cries, but it is fascinating. And I think y'all have heard me talk about, um, we have owls at our home, and which is why I love owls. Um, my grandmother collected owls and I've got a painting, I'm, I've got to get finished. It's a beautiful owl. It's just something about them. And I could just sit out there for hours listening to the owls talk. They, and they just have this amazing communication with each other. And it just, it's so, it's just so beautiful to listen to. And it, it sounds different than what I thought it would. It's not just the, the regular hoot hoot that an owl makes, but they actually have this communication that they do back and forth. It's so beautiful. And my husband and I um, came home, well, got up out of bed actually. It was like probably about three in the morning. We were wide awake because they were so loud. And we just went out there, just the two of us out on our porch and just listened to them for about an hour. We, it was just the pe most peaceful thing. We had the best night. So fun. It's the, it's the fun thing about living in the country, right? I have a little tiny bit that's coming up that I don't think is all the way dry paint wise, so it may not stick. And I'll show that to you when I get this done and I'm not gonna hate it. I'm not gonna hate on it for having a little imperfection because when you make things by hand, that's kind of what makes them kind of perfect is that they're not, you know, they're not made by this mass produced kind of thing, right? They do have those little imperfections and that's what really makes them kind of cool. So there's the little fox. Isn't he cute? I think that's going to be my favorite one show all of you over here and Facebook I'm so sorry I cannot see any of your your comments I know y'all are probably commenting and so I'm so sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring y'all over there I'm really not <laughs> like I can't see everything now the cool thing about the transfers gang you can also, like on my wood products, on all of my furniture that I create with them, I can go right over it with sandpaper and sand anything down. So the little imperfection on this one, it's really not, you can't see it too well. A little piece of his body didn't transfer too well. But like if I was to do that on um, wood, or if that bothered me too much, I would maybe just take sandpaper and just sand the rest of it out and just kind of make it look like it's distressed a little bit more. So they're very forgiving and they're very, very easy to work with. And I love all of their products, not just the transfers. You guys know I use, I use it on a regular basis. Their products are wonderful. turns anybody out there into an artiste, right? Everybody is an artiste. I'm take this. And then I want to get your input about the tray. If you guys can let me know what you all think I should do. The wax itself, you guys, from the DIY Paint Company is also natural, okay? I don't know if I mentioned that yet, um, but just like the paint, the paint is um, all natural. I know I mentioned that, but so is the 
waxes. I think you will really, really enjoy using them. If you've not used it, highly recommend it. I even rub the clear on my skin in the winter time. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying that, but I do. Okay, so let's see. I still need to wax the little tray. Let me go ahead and wax that. But what do you think? Do y'all, I'm gonna take a poll. Do you think I should wax? or paint the inside of this or no leave it let me wax it real quick this makes it look like it's been outside in the weather a little bit leave the inside silver says Karen any other votes those of you catching this on the replay Make sure you let me know. That is my final answer. <laughs> okay. So funny, Karen. You crack me up, girly. Y'all crack on me up. The questions, or when you comment, they disappear so fast, and I'm not that savvy yet on on the YouTubes to find the comments the way I need to be. <laughs> silver, Heather, I see you. Heather says silver too. Aren't these cute, you guys? For reals. This was like under $10. Under $10. Okay, it's just crazy. That's just crazy right there. Look how cute. Right, cute, cute, cute. You can see they're fairly, I think they're pretty good, lined up pretty straight. They, the, um, oh, Maya, I got this at Rural King, which I'm not sure where you're from, but we have um, a lot of farmland where I live and it's a place where the farmers shop and they're the neatest place because you can get little things like this. Now this was all galvanized. The whole thing was galvanized. And then I just turned it into this. Oh, well then you definitely, if you're in Spring, Texas, and you definitely have the tractor stores there. Any of those tractor stores. I love shopping there. I can get clothing. I can get my licorice. And I can go buy the baby chickens and the baby turkeys and visit babies while I'm there. I just leave, like, I'm so happy when I go there. <laughs> yeah, Tractor Supply should have these as well. Yep. But aren't they cute? You can already see this one's starting to dry. See how it's getting, starting to look a little bit lighter? So it's already starting to dry a little bit. And then you'll just want to buff it. So um, I'll probably have this in the sale for um, Friday. That'd be cute. Yes. Thank you, Karen. And that's really it. That's my quick little demo for the day. And I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, remember, if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and a like. That is a great way to support all these little small businesses, especially during the quarantine right now. And we so appreciate it. Um, all of the items you can find at GirlUpCycledStudio.com. And if you have any questions during the video, if you're watching this on a replay, just make sure you put something in the comment section. You just scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll find where the comments are and you can um, ask any questions there. So, okay. Thank you so much, Maya. It was nice meeting you. We'll see you all really soon. Bye-bye.